Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Eco Engineering. This is your host Chia Leilipur. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can maximize the profit of your expert advisor by using optimization and strategy tester in MQL5. But before starting this video, there is a point that I should mention. Uh, I noticed that in Telegram, there are some uh, channels that they are using our name and my photo and they're selling signals for trading uh, i want to say that they all are scam they have nothing to do with me uh, and please do not trust them because i never ask you for money and i never believe that you can be constantly profitable by buying signals so please do not pay them anything do not trust them they are all scams having said that in our channel if this is your first time watching our channel uh, we focus on algorithmic trading by implementing codes with MQL5, C++, and Python. If you are interested in this subject, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And at the end of the video, if you like it, please hit the like button. So YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay with me to the end. Let's continue about the topic. Uh, we have a strategy. This strategy, for example, it doesn't matter what is it. This uh, the name here is Expert Advisor Cascade Trading, for example, and I want to test it from uh, for for the last one month, from October 14th to November 14th, and it is uh, going to be tested on your USD. Then uh, 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 the Expert Advisor will calculate everything based on every ticks. The initial deposit is uh, 100,000, and if I click on the visualization mode, I can see how much profitable is this strategy in the last months, for example. If I press press run and this is how it is working. I just increase the speed because I don't want to take lots of time of the video and the result can be seen here in the graph. For example, this is how it is working right now. It has inputs. If I open the code itself, I can see that these inputs are exactly the same with the inputs that I have here in my code. These are the inputs, okay? And all of them has their initial values. For example, trigger up initial value is false. Uh, risk, risk person is 1%. Minimum stop loss point is 25. Stop loss point is 100. Doesn't matter what they are. Uh, for us, what is important is I know that this for, this, for example, risk to reward and these tablas points and these minimum tablas points can affect uh, my strategy a lot. And I'm not sure that these 25 or these 100 is, are actually the best values, the best initial values. So I want to find the best values for these three variables. So what is the best combination of these three uh, variables to be to have the highest profit. So how do we do that? In the overview, there is a part name optimize, complete optimization. I click on it. And then when I click on it, now I can choose which variables I want to check. So I want to have this risk to reward and minimum stop loss point and this stop loss point. So when we active them, then we can change the stops, steps, starts, and values, okay? So, first of all, I want to start with this risk to reward. I want it to start, the, <clears throat> to start from 1, and I want to increase it to 3. Each step, I want to be 1. It means, first, it starts with 1, and then increase it by 1, and then it would be two, and then it increases by one again, and then it would be three. So uh, it check this strategy in the last months for risk to reward one, risk to reward two, and risk to reward three. Then minimum stop loss point. I want it to start from 25, and I want to increase it by five in each steps. And I want to continue it to 100. So how many steps it would be? It would be 16. Here we can see it. It would be 16 values. So then it would be 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 to the 200. 
And these tablas points, I want it to be 100. And I want to increase it by 10. And I want to continue until 500, for example. This one is very important too, this price change percent. But here, we just want to learn it. So I don't, I don't uh, activate it. Because if I activate it, then uh, it takes lots of time to uh, calculate everything. So now, it says that for this variable, we have three steps. And for this variable, we have 16 steps. And for this variable, we have 41 steps. The combination, how many combinations we can have with these three, uh, with these uh, uh, three values here? It would be three multiplied by sixteen multiplied by forty-one, which the result would be thousand nine hundred sixty-eight different combinations. And between this combination, we want to find the most profitable one. But I can increase it even by, for example, uh, twenty because I don't. Uh, I don't want all my CPU be involved, and I want it to do it uh, as fast as possible. So, so this is almost everything that you need to know about this uh, section. Uh, but if you go to the setting here, we change to slow complete algorithm, and uh, we want to do optimization based on what? Do we want to optimize based on the uh, maximum sharp ratio? or we want to optimize it based on the maximum balance. In this case, I want to optimize it based on my maximum balance and uh, uh, the money that we gain, OK? If I choose it and press Start, then this page will pop up, and it starts doing the optimization. And these dots are actually the results. For example, here, one of them had this result, which is 116. We almost uh, profit by 16%. And if I click on the optimization result, and I can sort them based on the result here, this is the, this is the results. I fast forward the video so we can do all one around 1,008 combination, test them, and then I'll come back to you. So uh, we can see the results together. OK, uh, now uh, the test is over. Uh, it may take some time. It depends on how powerful is your uh, computer and how powerful is your CPU. But uh, if you leave it, it at the end, it check all the combinations, which here it is 1,008. And uh, to see the result and sort them, just click on this result and sort them again, we can see that the maximum uh, profit that we could make is around 17.32%. And uh, with this profit, actually, we had a drawback around 10%. It's very important because we don't, we don't, want, some, we don't want our drawback to be a lot, because then uh, the sharp ratio will decrease. And to have this profit, the three variables that we choose to check them the combination would be this risk to reward 2 minimum stop loss 85 and stop loss point 120 let's check it okay 120 85 2 i go back here i go to single mode because i just want to check the result and then after choosing this one and clicking on the visual visual mode I go to the input again, and now we cannot change them, and we just can give them values. Risk to reward two. Here it's already two. And minimum stop loss point 85. Minimum stop loss point, I change it to 85. And stop loss point itself 120. I change this one to 120, and I check and backtest it with these values. So I start it, and we should see the result. It's finished. I just maximize the speed because I want it to be finished very soon. I close it, and I go to the graph. I can see this is the graph. And 
the back test result here. This is the result. Seven, uh, Seventeen point thirty two percent, exactly the same thing that we had here. So we found out that with these combinations of these inputs, we would gain maximum profit. We would have gained maximum profit in the last months. This is how we are using optimize optimization in the MetaTrader 5. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please do not forget to hit the like button. So the YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics too. Have a good day.